First time in the cockpit of a Boeing 757 and Honey Hunjur has complete command of the half a million pound aircraft, using the autopilot like most of us use the TV remote control. You are a contract pilot for the CIA. Hmm. How do you know that? I read your book. You know, they got this thing called the, uh, the Patriot Act. That's, that's meant to, to deal with people like you. The FBI has instructed local police departments to treat anyone harboring conspiracy theories about the 9-11 attacks as a potential terrorist. Did you receive a package in the last day or two? Contain a photograph? A highly classified photograph? Two agents showed up asking me questions. Oops. A good friend of mine warned me. <laughs> I started to upset some people. He's been shot in the head. Oh my God, this doesn't happen. This just doesn't happen here. He it says Phillips was stalking his wife and children. He always seemed so nice too, you know? Yeah, he was. You knew him? He was my best friend. Why would a small town cop change a, a murder to a suicide? You don't like the way I'm running this case? Well, he probably talked with the two agents that interviewed him on Thursday afternoon. Two agents? There was simply no evidence of any intruders in that house. Of course not. You had it all destroyed. No, those pilots had to have training in the real thing, and don't let anyone tell you different. I pulled you over because you have a broken tail light. No, I don't. Yes, you do. The year after 9-11, one of the owners of DOS was appointed a federal judge. Marsha's getting too close for me. You no, know, Marsha wouldn't speak to us either. Big mistake. <laughs> we want what he's hiding. You understand me, motherfucker? Be careful, Madison. I was there on February 13th. That evening, someone broke into Phil Marshall's house through the back sliding door and was looking for something. Somebody is after something that he has, and I think whatever it is, it, you know, it was so important, it was worth killing him and his two kids for.